Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wendy here. I'm an independent stubborn, <coughs> sorry, stubborn up demonstrator living in Narbeth, Pembrokeshire, Wales. And today, well, this week, just squeezing it in at the end of the week is for the letter O in my alphabet series, and it's O for oops, O for ornate style. Now, when I got this, I did promise I was going to make things out of it, but. Other things have taken place, and there we go, if you know what I mean. Right, I'm using one of, the, one of our little note cards. They come in packs of ten, I think it is. Some, I think it could be ten, I'm not quite sure. Let me have a drink first. Then. Right, that's better. So I'm using one of our note cards, and I'm going to do something. I'm going to fold this after I've done the, the stamping on it. So just remember which way, which is the front and which is the back of your card. So maybe uh, mimic folding it and then press it down because it'll be nice and flat for us to be stamping on. Now then, for the first bit, I'm using the new Cinnamon Cider ink. And I'm using the little little corner one there to guess what we're going to stamp now. The corners! <laughs> right, bring this to me a bit so I can see where I am. It's enough to get it back on uh, within an inch of its life sort of thing. You know, just make your card making relaxing, you, you know. One, two, and turn the card as you go, and then you won't have to sort of wiggle your your wrist around. Oh, stay still. Dear, dear, dear. It's going to be like a little note, note card. And I want to keep it plain. Maybe plain is the wrong word, I don't know, but I just want to keep it simple. And clean and simple. I'm going to put another one there. I am trying to line them up, but not too bad, I say, not too bad at all. Right, clear that stamp off before I give it a wipe. Now then, oop, you can go back in there. Good. Try and return the stamps because. Um, I've been getting them lost. I've been oh leave that because I went that for the sentiment. Now I'm going to use oh, these are very very sticky. I'm now going to use that little one there. So now I'm going to turn it around the right way again. Double checking that's the front. Then I'm going to get I'm using paper as now to do this little flower in. I think paper sass is starting to be my olive green, if you know what I mean, because I used olive green a lot when I first started, um, because it wasn't any green that settled with my colour, if that makes sense. There we are, cleaned all the stamp out from the... Now, I should, didn't really need that block, so I'll take that away because I'm using red block rubber stamps, and they've got their little bit of cushion with them. Now then I'm going to try and sort of centre-ish -ish and up a bit. Just leave it like that for a while without pressing too hard. Please work. Ta -da! It has worked. Well done. Well done, you that card with that stamp, really, I should say. Right, I'm going to wipe this off again. <laughs> These sticky bits that you put onto the stamp, they really are very sticky. There we go. Just one more little bit to do now, and that's the sentiment. Where has that gone over to you? I might block up. And getting my sentiments, 
don't go down where I don't want you to go. Hoping that that is straight. No, it's not straight, is it? <sighs> I think this is going to be a tutorial on how to get your sentiments straight. What I do, I, I centre it on the line and put my finger on there. And then this, then you can wiggle backward and forward and get it straight as possible. But don't worry if it's a bit skew if. And then I'm just going to make sure that I've got this the right way. And I told you, you should have stuck down there too, shouldn't I? Try not to stretch, especially these thin ones, try not to stretch them because um, they won't look good either. And if you can't get it straight, then make it crooked. Because crooked, at least then, it looks like it doesn't have to be straight. It looks like it's intentionally wonky. I just got this little, oh, I told you which stems I did from. Right, I'm using this field of flowers. This is one of the ones I had today. And I'm using this little sentiment, thinking of you. Because I think, when you think of note cards, so you sort of think, well, I'll just drop them a note. You know, so just a quick, simple thinking of you is wonderful. Just trying to get that under there. Oh, oh come on, please work. Because now you see, I forgot to put the, back, the stamping mat back on there. So I'm not going to press. There we go. Then let me get this stamping mat back. Then don't forget, bump in the riddle. Do like that. And uh, it's gone again. Never mind. I've got a block here. It's got a straight edge on it. So just use the block. Put it back to forwards. And there we have it. Little plain and simple thinking of oh, sorry, plain and simple thinking of you card for the letter O is for ornate style. I hope you like it and you give it a go, even if you're a beginner stamper. It's only two colours and a few stamps. Please give it a go and let me know how you got on. Thank you for watching. Bye.